Just be any other pole to me for which I have no idea what to do with. But we are going to meet the seven contestants of the Miss Pole Dance Competition 2010, and they are going to show us the skills in maneuvering around this pole. Some came dressed in dazzling sequins and shiny PVC. One donned a blue wig, while another chose a sexy red outfit in the spirit of Singapore's 45th National Day. And one went as far as preparing a little street tease for the crowd. One thing's for sure, all the contestants brought on their A-game and really worked the crowd as they slithered up, down and around the pole, showing off some gravity-defying stunts. All these contestants have full-time jobs, but the passion for pole dancing drives them to juggle work and play after office hours. We have a little chat with Roxy, who switched from exotic dance to pole dancing. So how long have you been pole dancing for? About three years, close to three years now. What inspired you to start pole dancing? Actually, it was a bit of an accident. I was doing exotic dancing and salsa, and then the studio that I was in started offering pole. And I decided to just try, and then one class led, led to like two classes, and it's been close to three years now. So, are you still doing exotic dance besides pole dance? No, I'm not. Just full time pole dancer now? Pretty much, yes. <laughs> so, will you say that your style is more um, athletic or graceful or what? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, my style. It used to be more graceful, but then. Different songs require different kinds of styles, and, diff and you want to try to, as a dancer, you, we want to try, try to push yourself to try different styles. So it's it's a bit of a mesh of everything, yeah. But more more towards the graceful than towards the really strong and really powerful uh, kind of moves. Yeah. Is it really demanding, you know, to juggle your job and all this uh, three to four times trainings a week and stuff? Honestly, yes. It's it's impossible to you want to try to give it your best but it's pretty tough because you know sometimes work just comes in waves sometimes I'm really busy and sometimes I'm, I'm pretty slack so and some, and it just seems to o o always happen that my busy periods will, will, will clash with something that's coming up so how do you manage I'm just kind of drag myself to class <laughs> yeah. and I'm o always in a happier mood after after four class the best dressed award went to the bold and sexy Elisa who was clad in a little black pair of PVC hot pants and a sparkly midriff very top. She has been pole dancing for two and a half years as she finds it a great way to keep fit. Just before the moment of truth, Razor TV roamed among the audience to find out who the crowd favourite was. Who are you supporting? Uh, Nayoko, because she's, uh, she's our instructor. I mean, she's my instructor. How about you? Uh, Na <laughs> I don't Nayoko or your, your head, uh? Yeah. Um, I think the last one and the third last one were pretty good. I'll say the last lady. Nayoko, hands down. And guess what? The crowd favourite turned out to be the winner of the night. Miss Naoko walked away with $1,500 of cash prize and the title of Miss Pole Dance Singapore 2010. Okay, so how do you feel about winning? Um, I have no words. <laughs> Did you expect to win? Not really because you, you, can, you, ha, you have no idea what's happened in a competition. competition so. what, which part of your routine won the judges over? Uh, maybe my strength. Because I'm quite strong. I, so I think my strength, yes, it's, it, it's advantage for me. Yeah. So what inspired your routine tonight? Um, I basically watch lots of Felix performance and Bobby's performance as well and uh, I love their strength and then I love their grace and I all they all inspire me a lot how many times a week do you practice um, at least five times a week so that's every day Monday to Friday almost like a weekend as well it wasn't just the hot ladies who performed a multitude of moves revolving around a pole Three hot male pole dancers suddenly showed up to raise temperatures for all the ladies in the audience. 
or did they? Check them out in the next clip. You know what time it is.